So I'm starting with a new document. And I'm starting off with the cave, so I'm going to the stock studio and I'm typing in cave. And then I'm dragging that over. And then I'm zooming out and I'm resizing it. And then I want to cut out the opening of the cave. So I'm going to the selection persona and then I'm using the smart selection brush. And then I'm going to invert the selection. So the selection's gonna now be around the cave. And then I'm adding a mask layer. And then deselect. And then on that mask layer, I'm using the paintbrush tool. And I'm just removing some of the parts that I don't need. And then when I'm happy with it, I'm going to rasterize that image. And then I'm moving over to the develop persona. And then I'm going to bring the exposure up. And then I'm moving the temperature slider most of the way to the blue. And then I'm bringing the black points down and bringing the brightness up. And then I'm bringing the shadows up as well. And then I'm adding a bit of contrast. And then I'm gonna click develop. And now I'm gonna start adding the water into it. So I'm first making the image smaller so I can see it better. And then I'm moving that to sit underneath the cave. And then I'm just positioning it where I want it. And then I'm adding a fill layer to the cave. And then I'm going to colour select the water. And then I'm changing that to overlay.
and then I'm bringing the opacity down. I don't really like how bright it is on the edges so I'm adding a pixel layer and I'm dragging that onto the cave and then I'm colour selecting that blue again and I'm just going to paint over the edges And then I'm going to change that to multiply. And then I'm bringing the opacity down a tiny bit. And now I want to add the while. But I'm first going to cut it out. So I'm going back to the selection persona and I'm using the smart selection brush. And then I'm adding a mask layer to that and then deselect. And then I'm going back to the photo persona and using the move tool I'm just going to position it. But I want that to sit underneath the cave. And then I'm changing the blend mode to soft light. And then I'm going to duplicate it and put another one in the background. And now I want to add some fish. So these ones have already been cut out. And then I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to hide one layer for now. And then moving back to the selection persona.
and then I'm going to bring back the other layer and I'm making a selection around those ones and then adding a mask layer and I'm dragging them beneath the cave and I think I want to position them further in the distance so I'm changing that to soft light as well and then I'm bringing down the opacity Okay, and now I want to add some bubbles. So I'm first adding a new pixel layer and then I'm changing my brush to a bubble brush. And then I'm changing the colour to white and I'm just going to tap on the screen. And then I'm going to change that to overlay and I'm bringing down the opacity and then I'm going to duplicate that and move it over to the other while And then I want to add some for the fish as well. But I'm going to change the brush. And then I'm going to do the same. And then I'm duplicating it and I'm moving it over to the other fish. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And move that over to the other ones. And then I'm going to add in some light rays and then I'm going to the transform studio and I'm flipping it the other way. So then I'm dragging that to sit below the whales but on top of the other water image. And then I'm going to change that to screen. And then I'm clicking on this source curve and I'm dragging the left point all the way down. And then I'm going to bring down the opacity a bit. And then I want to blur the edges of the cave a little bit. So I'm going back to the cave and then I'm going to rasterize it. And then I'm clicking on the blur brush. And I'm just lowering the opacity. And then I'm going to add another pixel layer and I'm going to colour select the blue and I'm changing my brush back to normal and I'm just painting that around the edge of the cave. I'm making sure to drag that on top of the cave. And then I'm changing that to soft light. And 
and then I'm going to add a depth of field blur. And I'm making sure that's at the top of the layers. And I want the water to be in the centre circle. So then I'm going to bring up the clarity. And the vibrance. And then I'm going to bring the radius up. And then I'm adding an exposure adjustment just to brighten it up a bit. And 